Hey and welcome back to Vita vs 3DS and here as you can see I have a PlayAsia box with my CirclePad Pro for the 3DS XL inside. I just ordered this from Japan and it came in. So let's unbox it. This video will serve as an unboxing and a review. So we're going to see what's inside. As many of you already know the CirclePad Pro requires a, a battery. I don't know if um, it comes with one. I'm not sure. But uh, I know Japan and Europe tend to cheap out sometimes, but um, if it doesn't, I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll go get one. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is the Japanese box. Oh, and there's a little something here. I don't know what this is. It's $5 off something I'll never buy. And a Bioshock Infinite thing for Japan. That's cool. Okay, it's like a sticker or something. That's cool. Anyway, so here's the main box. It looks just like the regular CirclePad Pro box I've seen in unboxing videos. Um, except it's for the XL, obviously. So let's get inside. So, yeah, there's the battery. Okay, good. It comes with at least one AAA battery, which all of uh, the, um, the CirclePad Pros require. Here's the unit itself. And there's going to be some manual, I guess, here. The rest of the box is empty. So I don't know what this is. Some cell phone code or something. A Club Nintendo, I guess. I don't even use that. Uh, and then the instructions, I guess, this is the warning and how to set it up and what to do. Uh, and just a note, I never actually looked up how to set it up. <laughs> so I'm just going to wing it. Uh, I hope that's okay. So here, where does the battery go on this bad boy? I guess in here you gotta we gotta unscrew this. So I'll take my Swiss Army knife here. So just some things like I've noticed of course right when I heard about the fact that it takes um a battery, um I wasn't super fond of that. I'd just rather the unit itself be chargeable, but uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Actually, this isn't very easy to take off. Doesn't feel like I'm getting anywhere. There we go. Yeah, and I don't recommend. I mean, I know a bunch of you in the comment section are going to be asking me uh, where I got it, and you guys are going to want to be ordering one. I don't recommend it. Because, uh, first of all, it's more expensive than just waiting until March, I guess, when it's available here. And uh, secondly, you got to pay shipping. And third, you have to pay customs. So it ends up being probably, for me, maybe four times more expensive than it would be if I just waited three months. Um, but, of course, I don't like waiting for things. So that's it. There you go. That's in. All right. So now let's see how easy this is. And, of course, this video you can use as a gauge to uh, see how easy it is to actually set this thing up. Because I've never done this before. I've never watched any videos of anybody setting anything up. Um, I'm coming in blind pretty much. So, um, yeah. All right, I already have Kingdom Hearts in here because I know Kingdom Hearts supports it. Um, but I guess I'm gonna go to system settings. Let's turn off the 3D, so better. I know I saw something in here once. Other settings. There we go. Circle pad. Oh no, that's the regular circle pad. Damn it. Oh, I guess it's not in here. Okay, I guess I'll just jump into Kingdom Hearts and figure it out. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna wait for the menu to load. Come on. The system sometimes takes a little while to load things. There we go. All right, I'll just close it for now. I guess I'll rest it on here. Does it click in? I guess so. Is there an on button for this thing? Huh. Doesn't look like there is. How do I rest it out of here? Nope, okay, that's cool. Alright, so it's in there, it's snug. 
so I'm going to jump into Kingdom Hearts. I know there's an option in Kingdom Hearts which supports it. Alright, anyway, I guess I'll talk about how it feels. This feels actually a lot better than I thought. This is super comfortable. Wow. Um, on the back, as you can see, we have our access to our L and R's. Well, we have access to our regular L and our R button is like an extended R. And as well as two other triggers. So that's great. Alright, so let's load, uh, why not, this one. Yeah, it feels just like the other one, which I will talk about in a minute. Alright, so, in the options, in config, I noticed that there was CirclePad Pro, which you enable. There you go, it's enabled now. So, calibrate. If the right, there we go, it says something here. If the right circle pad doesn't respond correctly, we need to be recalibrated. Okay, so here we go. Neutral position all the way. So it wants me to rotate in a, in a circle like this. Two to three times, and then tap next. Move the right circle up, down, left, and right. Up, down, left, and right. Okay, there you go, it's complete. All right, so. Let's see how this thing works. Yep, see my camera controls, although they do need to be inverted, which I will do right now, because that's of course how Japan is. They always do everything backwards. You know why the default is flipped, it should default should be default. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, all right, great. So now I can actually control the camera properly in this game, which was my, probably my major complaint with this title, which I will be reviewing, so I won't say anything more, but uh, this feels great. Um, in terms of like, you know, how it feels in my hands, it feels wonderful. It's probably the most comfortable thing I've held in a long time. Uh, up there with like maybe the Xbox 360 controller. Like it actually feels really good. These little, um, you know, it's really thick, but these little grooves here actually make a huge difference. They feel really good. Um, it has an ex extra triggers, which I don't think it's not doing anything in this game. So I don't think it uses them. But, um, anyway, um, of course, um, if there's any downsides I could mention in my, what, two minutes of holding this and playing with it. Um, this is uncomfortable. See the way my right hand is? Doing this is uncomfortable, and I don't like the positioning of the stick. I don't know what else they could have done, um, aside from put one right here, which would have been way better in my opinion. Um, but if you're going to add it to a system like this, um, I guess it's good here. But the only thing is, like, hitting, let's say hitting the R1 button and this at the same time creates this, like, little claw movement, and that's just painful. It feels like... The same thing, my same major complaint about playing Street Fighter with this and hitting the L1 button a lot. I don't like doing this. I don't like making that claw movement. Um, that's why I like when I think it should be further down, so it'll be just more natural, not like a not like a claw. Um, so it, feel, it does feel a little weird if I'm using the L and R's and this at the same time, but fortunately in this game I don't, but I would be in Peace Walker. So, uh, sorry, in uh, MGS3, which also supports it. So, of course, as this is Vita versus 3DS, many of you will be asking how this 3DX XL compares to the Vita. Um, so, what I could say right away is that, um, was a few things. Uh, I've already discussed the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, circle pad against the analog, uh, small analog stick on the Vita. Um, my basic consensus was that uh, the circle pad being having a nice concave design was better for gripping your thumbs and you could slide off the Vita uh, things by accident if you're not careful. Um, but of course just that design alone is a, there's a downside to it because um, let's say in, in games where you need to be able to slip off like in, let's say for example any first person shooter you need to be able to slip off the stick onto a button and back to the stick. Um, this is easier to do with a convex design. I actually prefer uh, a convex design because of that in, in shooters, but that's fine. It's not such a big advantage. Um, so that's basically all I spoke about because I didn't have a Circle Pad Pro, but now that I have one, I could talk about some other things. So I'm going to list the advantages that I find right away with, with the Circle Pad Pro. First of all, holding it, holding the system like this is more comfortable than holding a Vita. Um, just just as it, as it is normally. Um, the back has these nice little grooves that, that groove your hand. It feels like you're holding a controller. It really does. And um, it's super comfortable. Um, you know, there's a little bit more resistance in, um, in the sticks than, uh, than the Vita sticks, which feel a lot looser. 
I don't view that as a downside really because I prefer looser sticks, but a lot of people don't and uh, and uh, you know and that's fine. Um, so for I mean those are clear advantages. Um, some obvious disadvantages you could see is that again I'm gonna go back to the side view. This thing is thick. It's controller thick. Um, you can't put this in your pocket. Uh, you know like as big as the you know 3s XL is this makes it exponentially bigger. And Vita is known as a big system, but I mean. You know, if we could do a side profile view of both. Vita is pocketable in this. This isn't. It's at least three times as thick as a Vita, and this is really going to bulge out of your pocket. Um, this is not a portable anymore. It's just the, this big controller that you, with a screen on it at this point. Um, but, you know, the obvious counterpoint to that is that um, if you bought an XL in the first place, you're not looking for portability. Uh, you know, you're, you want a big screen. Um, but of course my XL still fits in my pocket, so I did still want some portability, so I still view that as a downside. Uh, another downside I guess would be, um, the sandy nature of this, of this slide pads. They're a little bit sandy as you move them. Uh, it feels, I guess, okay, because it has a little bit of resistance and everything, but, you know, I, I prefer glidier and, and better moving, uh, pads, which I find they could have done. Like, I mean, it's not the, a disadvantage of a circle pad. I, I, I don't know why they're not glidier, uh, but the, definitely the sticks of the Vita are, are a little glidier and they feel a little better. Um, the final disadvantage of the 3DS XL Circle Pad Pro, or any Circle Pad Pro in general, is the nature of the slider pad um, and how it's just will never be as accurate as a true stick. Uh, the slider pad is basically like a little pad that, again, it's called a slider pad for a reason, that you just slide around. It slides around on this... Um, flat plane that you move back and forth. Um, you know, these are fine. Uh, it'll get the job done, uh, especially for camera movement or minor things, but you really start to notice its disadvantages when you start playing some shooting games, like MGS 3D. Um, as you're aiming around, you know, it's just doesn't, you getting those finer movements and quickly changing directions and everything just isn't as easy as it is with this, uh, with a slider pad as it is with a true analog stick, which tilts and you can really get a good range of motion, good, nice, accurate shooting, and it's fast. I mean, changing directions really fast is much easier to do on a pivoting stick than it is to do on a sliding pad. Um, you have to travel more distance and it's slower and the sandiness of it really makes it actually slower too. And again, we're talking like milliseconds here, but milliseconds make a huge difference in shooting games. Um, but yeah, so overall it does feel more comfortable than a Vita with this. Um, and the convex design, a lot of people like that, especially if you're like, if you're like, uh, Xbox 360, the, like the Xbox 360 controller and the concave design in that, which a lot of people do. I like it too. Um, those are, that's the advantages, the advantages for the Vita are that it's actually portable, um, the sticks are more accurate, and they're better for shooters, and, uh, oh yeah, one, I guess one other disadvantage, uh, right now, uh, is the battery for the 3DS XL, the fact that it comes with a battery, uh, AAA battery is kind of really annoying, I'd rather just it be chargeable as is, but that's okay, that's just the nature of it. Uh, anyway, so I guess that's my review, um, I'm happy I got it, I'm happy I have it now, that I can play around some, with some games on it before it comes out. Uh, I already finished Kingdom Hearts, so I'll be reviewing that again, but, um, you know, it'll be fun to go back and play that, play around with that a little bit. I'm also going to play a little more MGS 3D with this and see if that changes my mind on a few things. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.